In this section of video tutorial, we are going to create giant red mustard using a Substance Designer. First of all, we will use uh, simple nodes for creating our leaf generator. And further, we will use the same leaf generator for creating a UV atlas. So in this uh, generator, we need to create our basic leaf uh, shape with basic forms, then add some winds, some warpness for randomizing leaf. Also, we will have to create some exposure parameters where we can tweak our leaf scale, uh, like normal intensity, uh, winds count, stalk size, and our leaf size. Also, as you can see on the reference, the leaf has different kind of colors from the start to the top. So we start work from creating a simple scene. Uh, here we need only a height map output. And for better understanding what we are going to work with, we add only blend nodes and plug this to the input of normal map and output of the normal node we plug to the input of the height node. As you can see in the reference, the leaf has different warpness on the counter. So first of all, we will create the main leaf shape. For this, we are going to use the basic shape node with the disk. Uh, the disk is going to be our central uh, leaf shape and for the top and bottom we are going to use the polygon one node after tweaking some parameters we add the transform node and do not forget the tiling mode to no tiling So here we blend our top part of leaf with bottom part of leaf. And we're going to use the liner dodge blended mode. So now we have to create the same uh, like in top part, but in the bottom part of leaf for adding it more look like the reference. Also, we can hide our nodes and unhide them by pressing just a D.
So as you can see in the reference, the leaf has smaller uh, space at the start growing and the same on the top. So now we use the same disk node with transform and snow tiling mode and also we add a mirror grayscale node for subtracting some part of previous leaf mask. Here we can group all the nodes and name it as our leaf shape. So now we need to add some warpness to the leaf contour to divide the symmetry. So for this we use directional warp node and Perlin noise node. Also, we can set the Perlin nodes to absolute parameter for using 256 by 256 for better optimization and faster calculation. For creating our wings for the leaf, we are going to use the stripes node with directional warp. Now we have to create our mask for directional warp to divide the position of the stripes node and make it look like 
uh, in checker. Also, we blur a little bit our stripes node to make it softer. And as you can see, after the directional arc node, we receive our wins, like in checker map uh, position. So the white one is after the dark ones. The next step is we are going to add some position from the start wins to the end of the contour of leaf. And for this, we will use the directional arc node with the rigid bell sh shape from the shape node. So we plug our stripes to the directional arp and our rigid bell to the input node of the directional arp. And as you can see on the, our output, we have our winds in the same direction like on the reference. So the next our step is to add some randomness where the, our winds uh, near the contour of the leaf and for better warping the leaf we will create the mask by using our warped mask with blurred uh, node like a blur HQ grayscale. input our previously warped winds.
in the blend mode we will use the max latin mode because from the our mask we need little tiny light parts from our wings outside the leaf mask In the bottom of the leaf we need to add stalk, so for this we are going to use the polygon knot. For making it thinner, we use the transform node and also we set the tiling mode to no tiling. Then we blend it to our leaf mask and we plug our stalk into the top and our leaf mask to the background and use the outliner dodge method of the blending. So the next step is we need to subtract all unusual part of the leaf and for this we're going to use Blur HQ Crescent node with the Levels node. Here we are adding a secondary uh, warpness of the leaf contour and we use the same Perlin noise but with 5x12 and 5x12 pixels. So now we need to get some sharpener contour of leaf and for this we're going to use the levels node.
so now we have our basic leaf mask it's kind of our opacity mask and we need to add some surface to it and for this we're going to blur the same leaf mask by using the blur edge curve grayscale and blend it with itself by using a multiply mode So here we use the gradient liner with transform for offset it and we are going to subtract the central part of leaf by darken color for in further calculations add in this place our stalk with lighten mode. We use it to blend the surface, and these veins we will blend for make it it more softly. Here we're going to blur our veins by using the blur node and to add this to our previously generated output. For destructing symmetrical view, we add some variation by using the directional warp node. Here we subtract our veins and we use it for the mask, our previously blurred mask from the basic leaf mask. First we subtract our veins from the leaf for add deeper darkened color and the next step is to add a stalk and also to subtract him. For creating stalk, we use a simple shape node. We blur on it for getting softer result. and adding our linear gradient for the multiply and using the blend node. 
because from the start of the leaf we need to have light in color and till the end of leaf we have to get dark in color. So now we're going to use the slow blur and for the input of slow blur we will use the blurred our leaf for the input of slope and for the input of the grayscale we used the same leaf and we use the blend mode minimum Now we have soft winds with soft stalk like in the reference and the next step we will add the cross section winds between our main winds of the leaf. Here we're going to subtract all the pixels uh, from our slope blurred node and we subtract it with our alpha mask, the previously generated after warping. As you can see in the reference, we have our main winds with crossing winds secondary between the main winds, and every section of the larger winds contain the smaller one. So for this, we will use the tile sampler for generating these winds and then blend blend them to the our leaf mask. So we blur our opacity mask of the leaf and it's going to be our input mask into the tile sampler and the level of blurness uh, show us the scale and the position of the main shapes inside the tile sampler. So where the darkened areas, the shapes will be smaller and where the lightened areas, the shapes will be larger.
Also, we set some parameters to the our tell sampler for do not get our bright result, and we use it the color random node and the blending mode the maximum. So, as you can see, the output of our tile sampler, we have larger bubbles inside where our blurred mask has white areas and where dark areas we have smaller bubbles. So the next step, we need to subtract our bubbles and get uh, the straight lines. So for this, we will use the slow blur and the edge detect nodes. So now you can see that we get our mask and now we have to clean it from the noise. And for this we use the blur grayscale and the levels node. After it we will warp it in the same direction like our winds and blend it with our previously generated leaf mask. So in the center of the leaf, as you can see, we have larger crossing sections and near the contour leaf, we have the smaller sections. So the our tile sampler could give us the same scale of the bubbles that we use it inside as a input tiling mesh or not mesh or shape. And then we need to warp it, forget the same direction like winds. So here we add some randomize, and for this we use the same directional warp node with Berlin noise node. So we're going to use uh, our previously generated cells map and warp it with the same direction and position of the winds. And for this, we have previously created position map for our warp. Use it this transform input from the rigid belt shape.
So we can group it and give it a name as a first stage of our wins generation. Now we need to get our the same straight lines from the leaf shape that we created before. So here we use the levels node for making our output map more contrast and to avoid all the noise. So here we use the simple blend and we place our leaf output to the background and for the foreground we place our cross section wings. And for the mask we will use our previously generated basic leaf mask which we are also going to use as our opacity mask of the leaf. So we created our larger crossing wings and as you can see in the reference we have the smaller one inside the larger one. So we will use the same method for the smaller like the previous. And we can group it and name as a second twins generation.
for controlling our smaller wings that we're going to use inside the larger one we will use the previously generated mask for the tile sampler of the first stage wings generation by using a histogram scan node so in this case when we will change any position or direction of mask for the larger winds the smaller winds are going to be changed too because they will use the same mask with the histogram scan and position input into the tile sampler Also, we need to add the same direction for the smaller winds, like in previously generated for the larger one, and we will use the same map input into the directional warp that we did previously by using a rigid bell shape with a transfer node. So now we are going to blend our secondary winds into the, our leaf mask and we plug this into the input and for the background we place our leaf and as a opacity map we're going to use our leaf mask. So now the last one that we need to add is the smallest one surface 
into our leaf. So for this we will use the cells 2 node. and blend it So in white area we will see our surface and where we have dark area this place will be ignored when we have a blending between two nodes. And here we have three blend nodes with different crossing winds. And in further, we will control it by exposure parameters. So, as you can see on the reference, now we need to blur our leaf mask and to use the slow blur to make it softer and more realistic like on the reference images. For the input of the slow blur, we use the same input but with some blurry parameter. So the next step is we add the levels to make it more contrast and to add more darkened pixels for better reading and understanding our leaf structure where we can see the leaf contour, leaf uh, shape, some warpness and our main wings with cross section wings.
So we blurred a little bit the input of the slope blur grayscale node and the same for the input of the slope. And after levels, you can see that our leaf became darker and we can see a better structure of the surface. So the next step, we need to blur the place on the leaf where we should place our main wings with our stalk. So here we create our stalk that we're going to place onto our leaf map and for a better view we need to multiply the edges of the our shape of stalk and make it stronger where leaf start growing and less stronger on the top of the leaf. So for this we multiply the stalk with the gradient and with the linear gradient. So we place our wings into the background and the stalk to the foreground. And multiplying it for avoid the crossing the stalk within the winds. So here we use it the high pass grayscale 
and we plug it into the background and our previously blended crossing veins with main veins and secondary veins, also with talc. We multiply it to our leaf. And on these places we will have less bumpiness and more bumpiness we will have inside the surface of leaf between the crossing veins. So now we need to separate from our leaf only stalk with wings. And for this we blended previously generated wings with our stalk. Here we use the bell knot for making it more bumpiness and for create like in real life stalk with the same surface. And for our first calculations inside the Substance Designer, we will use this mask that we are making from the stalk and wings for adding different colors for the leaf surface and for the stalk and wings. And here we will multiply our mask of the wings with stalk to our main leaf uh, surface mask. But as you can see, we forgot about the start of the stalk, and for this we need to make the transform from this multiply inside node.
and here we're going to subtract our leaf uh, mask by our previously generated stalk with blended wings. Then we use bell knot And here we blend our leaf to our bowlet stalk with wings.
So now we need to subtract an opacity mask from our leaf. So for this we are going to use the slow blur with the same input into the slope and the input of the grayscale to make the leaf map flatten and then use non-uniform blur to blur the white pixels and white areas inside the leaf. Then we blend our output by itself several times for make it more contrast. And to avoid all the white areas inside the previously generated mask, we use the flat fill to subtract white areas from dark areas. And finally, by using the desaturation from the hue saturation levels, we receive our mask, which we need to invert and plug into the opacity input. For making softer alpha mask, we use it the blur with the levels node. So we can group it all and name is as opacity or alpha channel. By using a slow blur grayscale, we can generate some surface noise and add it to our leaf by a soft light blend method.
so now we have our leaf, we have opacity mask, and we have stalk. On the reference, you can see that our stalk has different color, and also we need to add some damages to our leaf, like damaged places, and for this, we are going to use some histogram nodes. So in the white areas where you can see the white dots, these are going to be our damaged places on the leaf. And from here we need to subtract our stalk because it's going to be damaged too. So for this we need to multiply our previously generated stalk and add this to our histogram node. So here we're going to subtract our stalk from our damages generator. So we plug our output leaf mask into the background and our damages to the foreground. And as the opacity map, we use it our stalk with winds. So you can see that our damages are around the stalk of winds, and the stalk with winds are not damaged. Also, we can control our mask by a levels node to the opacity map of the blending. So now we need to add to our opacity map uh, the same map from our damages and when 
we will use the damages more. The opacity should be with damages too. And here we need to use our stalk with swings for avoid the damaging of them. So now we can see that when our leaf is going to be damaged, the stalk and twins is staying completely with no dark values on the opacity map. So now we have generated our leaf with damages with different count of wins and our opacity map. So now we need to blend them into one single output map and for this we are going to use RGBA merge. Also, we need to add our stalk with swains for adding it different color without uh, colorizing all the leaf. So our leaf will have one color set and our stalk with swains another color set. So in this case, we plug the opacity into the alpha input of the RGBA node and into the red channel we plug our leaf output and into the green channel or to the blue channel we can plug our stalk map with swings. So we place it into the red channel our leaf height map into the green channel we place it our stalk map or stalk alpha map and the opacity map is in the alpha channel. And blue channel we place the black color, empty color. So now we have our leaf generator and we need to create our exposure parameters and in the next part when we are going to create the UV atlas for our generator, uh, uh, we will use one generator of our red mustard leaf and place it many times with different colors and different settings.
So now we plug our RGBA node output into the, our heat map input and setting parameters. So now we start exposing the parameters, and in this case, we expose the wins count that we can use into the our giant red mustard leaf generator. Here we expose the leaf warpness level of the larger parts and in the next step we will expose the smallest steps of warpness. Here we will control our amount of large veins so we can expose them too. And the same we are going to do with the secondary veins. and also our surface. And here we export our histogram scan nodes and we will use it as uh, our leaf damages. So now we create a new substance graph and just drag and drop our leaf generator and now you can see that we have lots of parameters where we can control our winds count, our leaf warpness, secondary warpness and also amount of the winds.
So in this video we completely created our leaf generator. We use it simple nodes of a substance designer and we also added lots of different kind of parameters where we can randomize our leaf from for example young one to older one and also using the damages. So in next video we are going to create our master colorizer node where we will adding and setting different kind of parameters for color also water drops and then we need to create our atlas map and then create the 3d model